Hey everybody, Eric in the garden here today. Want to do a video on something called maiden roses. It's a different way of getting roses through the mail. You may get roses many different ways. Of course, bare root, they come stripped of leaves, the canes are cut down and they don't have any soil. That's one way. You can certainly go to your local nursery and buy a rose potted up. One really neat way is to get it on a maiden uh, rose from Wisconsin Roses. Steve Singer sells these, it's wiroses.com. And what happens, I kinda did, um, I've got two of them this year, so I just wanna show you um, what they're about and what they look like. So they arrive and they are grafted onto multiflora rootstock. So the root system you see there is multiflora. The shank of the rose is multiflora. And the top of the rose is multiflora. The only thing that's not multiflora, if you look really carefully there, that bud eye is the variety you want. In this case, Cajun Moon, and Steve grafted this last September. So when you get these, like any type of bare root rose, you're gonna wanna soak them for up to 24 hours in water. So I certainly did that. As far as what you're gonna plant them in, you wanna pot them up. Steve recommends two gallon containers, and I've stuck with that. I've got a five gallon container there just as reference. And the reason why I prefer the small ones like Steve, look how the roots just fit in there, that two gallon pot, and there's still plenty of room. The bigger pot, there's just too much room. I want a smaller volume of soil so that this rose will really take off when it becomes root bound in six to eight weeks. Then I'll transfer it to there, let it become more established in a five gallon pot, then toward the middle to latter part of the summer, then it goes in the garden. And the big advantage is, instead of getting a bare root that's been established, which has to be dug up and transported, you're doing all the transporting. There's no shock just taking it out of a pot and putting it into the garden. Um, cost is also an efficient way of um, using maiden roses. Um, they could be in the upper teens of price, but he can usually ship um, I think at least five of these for $10. Uh, so that's a very, very cheap on the shipping since they're so small. So you've got your maiden rose, you know you want to use a two gallon pot. What about soil? I highly recommend ProMix. Um, you usually cannot find this in the store. Uh, it's got that stuff in there I can never pronounce. It's high quality stuff. I'm sure you can see the perlite in this. Um, I searched for it online. This is a 3.8 cubic foot bag. Uh, so it's compressed. It's about 60 pounds, so this is not something that usually ships from Amazon unless you're gonna pay a ridiculous amount of money to ship. So I keep searching, and when I find a local store that will ship to store, I order it. So in this case, it was $38. My local Ace Hardware offered it. You had to wait for a week, but it arrived at the store and I picked it up. Uh, you might say that's a lot of money for soil, but compare that to the local store. The quality is way better than what you can get at a big box store. And that big 3.8 cubic foot bale, again, it's 60 pounds. That's gonna last a long time. Uh, if you've got potted plants, I can't recommend that enough. So we went over, use a two gallon container. We went over uh, pre-soak it, and we went over the soil you use. So once you pot it up, uh, what you want to do, I'll show you this one that's not been potted yet. You want that bud eye to be above the level of the pot, and you want the whole rootstock to be covered all the way up to just below the bud eye because all that's going to be growing is that bud eye. So you want to cover that whole root system up. And again, these are budded onto multiflora. Fortuniana is my rootstock of choice here where I live. Um, but Steve sells such high quality plants, they're virus free. Um, I amend so much compost in my soil, I'm not too concerned um, with not only growing Fortuniata. So, you've got it in the pot, you're filling it up with dirt. What happened to my maiden rose? Don't worry, Steve includes instructions. This is what suppo you're supposed to do. Uh, this one is Maverick. And again, I just stopped halfway. My roots are almost covered, so I'm gonna continue to, to fill this pot up. I just wanted to show you right below that bud eye. And then, you cut the top of the multiflora off. So I just put it back. This whole top is multiflora. It would leaf out, and again, the top is multiflora, the rootstock is multiflora, and your bud eye is whatever you want. So when you're done potting it up, and he usually says leafed out, and mine is starting to leaf out um, as it arrived in the mail. So I cut that top off. Now, all the energy from the roots all the energy from the multiflora rootstock is gonna to go to that bud eye, 
and that's going to start to push out here over the next week and then i'll have my first maiden cane um, i usually pinch the first bloom i get because then that redirects all the energy to future canes and i'll have three usually grade you know grade one rows is three strong canes i'll have that here in a couple months so i hope that video introduce you to something new that you might not um, you know, have heard of again that's my multiflora rootstock but the top is off now so that is maverick and i will fill the pot up and cover to just below the bud eye and then i'll do the same thing here with cajun moon if you're looking for maiden roses it's wiroses.com he usually specializes in just the exhibition roses, Hot Princess, Randy Scott, on this case, Maverick, uh, Affirm. I've gotten a lot from him. Louise Estes. Um, if he can get his hands on Budwood, um, you know, he'll graft other things, but you got to hit him up early because he usually does it, the grafting in August and September. And then by September, the website is live and they sell out quick. So if you're interested in these maiden roses, I would jump on it. Uh, especially a top exhibition rose, uh, he offers most of them. So once uh, six to eight weeks go by, I've got a couple canes. It's filled that two gallon pot. I'll transfer it to the five gallon pot. Again, use the pro mix. Then mid to late summer, it will go in the garden. Maverick and Cajun Moon are replacing roses that were damaged in cold weather a couple years ago. Or in the case of Maverick, it snapped off during Florence. So that's why I ordered a maiden rose from Steve. Comment below. I know there's a lot of great sources online for roses. Palantine Roses, one of the best bare root uh, companies for Multiflora. Um, K&M is good for Fortuniana. What do you like to use in terms of purchasing roses? Your local nursery, maybe an online source. Um, again, maybe consider Wisconsin Roses. Pretty neat process to see this rose go from that little, little, little tiny bud eye, zoom into that, to a um, full, bar, full bush grade three or grade one rows here um, by the middle part of the summer. Hope everybody's doing well and enjoyed the video. As always, I appreciate the new subscribers. Have a great day.